Alright, um... Hello everybody. Meter Moore is the name, and Magic 2013 Duel Planeswalkers is the game. Um, anyways. As to, yeah, I'm gonna start posting a lot of Magic videos since I'm enjoying Magic a lot. And I'll explain a couple of decks that I'll be using in most videos and exactly why I use them. Um, but yeah, most of, most of my playthroughs consist of DLC decks such as the five DLC decks, uh, Aura Servants, Sepultural Strength, Mindstorms, Grinning Malice, and Collective Might. They're all very good cards and... Yeah, let's get right to it. So, my favorite one would have to be Grinning Malice. The fact is that Grinning Malice is a very good deck that punishes your foes with mistakes that they make upon playing their own cards. Since Gritty Malice is such a powerful deck, it has a it has a catch to it. Upon compensation, you need to play Gritty Malice requires a tribute or um, a sacrifice of your own selves, like such as your life, your mana, or yeah, most of your permanent yeah your most of your permanent uh, cards, such as creatures and stuff. But what makes this deck so powerful is cards such as um, the rare card, uh, the legendary card. Uh, hold on, I forgot the name, but this deck is very perfect for punishing users who like mana masteries and other decks that require like a lot of mana usage such as Garrick's pack leader and other stuff the cards such as chaos warp and this rare card rakdos the defiler if played very strategically rakdos the defiler can render any opposing threat you useless Due to the fact that by attacking, you have to sacrifice your own target permanence, which is your mana, creatures, and artifacts. And if dealt combat damage to the foe, he has to deal and sacrifice half of his permanence. Which is pretty useful, saying that removing mana is a pretty usage of this game. There's many other punishing cards in this deck, which I favor, making it a very, very devastating deck. Another deck that I would be using in my playthroughs further on is Aura Servants. Due to the fact that its card synergy is so high, so teammates have such an ability to play with this deck that I use. Simply by playing simple 1-1 one, one cards can be turned into 20-20 20, 20 cards by simple auras that make it impossible to just avoid. Aggro and most threatening. But the point of this deck is not to just aggro your enemies, but it's to mostly, um, if strategically played, you can make this deck the most it's the most impossible deck to avoid due to cards like indestructibility and toad armor card usages such as mammoth umbra and drake umbra which make it very powerful also daybreak coronet if placed on one card makes it a very threatening card such as creatures with hexproof 
or creatures with abilities as legendary as Gist of Saint Draft, making it a very, very devastating deck to play as. With a lot of control as well, in case if anything happens, mind control is there at your usage and destroy cards that aren't enchanted, such as Winds of Wrath, making it the most OP deck in my opinion. But anyways, depending on what we will be playing with, I also will be subjecting to adjust. So let's see, depending on my teammate, so he's using Dream Puppets. It would be good if I could use either Aura Servants, Crosswinds, or maybe Mindstorms, punishing. It, Mindstorms is mainly a punishable thing. If a creature comes in, I get to destroy it. If another creature comes in and takes mine, I get to destroy it anyways. Mindstorm is a very strategically placed deck that works well with most water decks and green decks, yeah. So, here you go. Well, someone's using... Someone's using already Grinning Malice, so we're going to switch it up a bit and see if we get lucky with Mindstorm. Grinning Malice and Mindstorms can make a pretty devastating combination due to the fact that there's many destroyed creature cards and many cards that can just penetrate and hit your life direct with any creatures being on a field, regardless. So, yeah. We shall see how this goes. Also, another thing that comes into mind is hoping not to get mana screwed or card screwed because by getting mana screwed and card screwed like I just did, it just it just removes you from getting an advantage to placing your own cards that I need to place down. This, however, is a good hand since I have Act of Treason, making myself even more powerful to take the, the enemy and using his card as his own. With haste as well. So. Let's go ahead and put a water card since we already got two water cards on the hole. Three. This is a devastating card, but it's. Its effect is very, very uh, costly. Yeah. Okay, so let's see what they got. So they're using possibly obedient dead, possible crosswinds. Yep, crosswinds and uh, let's see. I guess he's not gonna show. He might be using obedient dead. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and put another water. Exalt to darkness or I believe so. He might be using Exalt to Darkness or Grim Position. Really no there's many Hold on. No. I get to play Active Treason, but I don't want to use it on just simple two one cards. I want to use it on Punishing cards like 6-6 six, six and very devastating cards like this card I could take and make it into, um, if I could just zoom in real quick. Oh well, not me. Alright, there you go. So, yeah, I don't know why he's not putting down his... Down a flame card. Uh, 
Getting a 4-1 with haste is actually pretty useful. Lightning elemental. But it's very weak as in it is yeah, it's very easy to be removed. And he's using mana leak on What What? Okay, so, uh, I don't know if we're, yeah, we're, I'm not fighting a guy that's not very smart, I guess. Or bright, I don't know. He just used a mana leak on a hellho rat and recalled. Yeah, he just recalled his own 2-1 that gives him a draw card every time. Why would he do such a thing? I don't know. But that is a very punishing de hand, and it is obedient dead. I do not remember this. Actually, yeah, it is obedient dead. I do remember that card being in there. Hmm. All right. Maybe putting a target as myself, but no. And even he doesn't counter it. He didn't counter it. He he has a counter three mana going in. He's trying to get bass on his shit, maybe. No, never mind. Very punishing indeed. So I can only allow him to tag. I want the four one elemental to be a defender. And the three five spell down dragon will do all the damage on my field right now. Oh shit! He's gonna get Sphinx Bone One. Pretty. That's a pretty devastating card effect. But we got things to destroy it so don't worry about it and he's gonna go for the five four five knowing that it could be brought to life very bonnet. that's very stupid because the three five is what you should be yeah the three five is what you should be worried about not his four five like five four um yeah, very devastating. Uh, watch this. Hold on. Right. Ooh, shit. Damn, I'm gonna get that card early. So get rid of this. Hold on. Four, three, yeah, get rid of this one. It comes a seven, five. And he's gonna block my, all right. I expected him to, I didn't want him to target the fucking rats. There goes Sphinx Bone One. I also got Breaking Point, which can be useless because they mostly go for the six. But if no one does it, all creatures get destroyed. And he's gonna go for my Otor on him. And he's mostly gonna go for the worm. Like there's no point in actually even doing this one because it's just the three twos, and he's fucking stupid. Yeah, destroyed land and whatever, but the worm once placed down every single card. But the two two is just devastated on the field. 
And he is punishing us with that warlock too, so it, that is a devastating car right now. And hold on. So. Vexing Devil, very devastating. One mana, board three. You either do four damage to yourself or allow the creature to be played. And they allow the creature to be played. Which is very devastating because that just... Damn. Resistance is futile. Alright, um... Punishing them for a total of a lot. Uh, this is a good card. There you go. I could remove. Damn. End the game. Whatever. GG. So yeah, Mindstorms is a pretty devastating effect mixed with Greeny Malice since there's a lot of punishing cards. But at, at a compensation of your own cards as well. So I'm gonna uh, see what is he gonna do now. Alright, so he wants to play Grinning Malice again. Uh, this time I'm gonna switch it up to Sepulchral Strain. I want many, many regenerative cards on the field this time because I know they're gonna try to destroy every single card on the field using between Mana Masteries or Celestial Light, maybe. And I'm already starting the game getting cards screwed. So that's, uh, there you go, a better, better resume right there. Yeah, could start off with Ravenous Rats. And he gets, he gets Blood Chief Ascension, making it very, very devastating if its effect becomes full with three counters on it. There, go ahead and pause the video and look for see for yourself. So yeah. Very devastating indeed. Um, wow, if he's gonna do the same thing again. Crosswinds and Obedient Dead again. Yep. Most likely. Very punishing though. This card is devastating. Um, let's see. That's, he might be using Jace's deck too, maybe. I don't want to put Perkenia's Deed yet. It'll destroy everything on a field, artifacts, enchantments, whatever, with a specific number, five mana or low. So anything with five mana or less mana cost than five will be destroyed if I put five quest counters on it. 
However, this card can be very devastating due to the fact that many enchantments that cannot be destroyed by regular cards can with this one card. I also want to watch out for a card that Crosswinds is very known for using called Balan Thievery, which is very devastating to me because my cards consist of most of them with many devastating effects. Unless I get a specific card that gives all my creatures hex proof. Even so, making me the target so that I can still be destroyed because everybody's going to be going for that artifact. But still, we already got another quest counter on it, so two more and anything that be gets sent to the graveyard will be giving us life. That's a very good that's a very good card, man. I love it. It's a very punishing deck. So many Destroy creature cards. There you go. That's a great moment to use Precanius Dead. Only using three mana will only destroy. Why the hell would he even send it back? Yeah, go ahead and draw a card, but like. Okay, so. Yeah, I will destroy his thing. But I don't know. Nope. You know what? I could actually use Maelstorm Pulse just to destroy it giving me the advantage right now seeing how he should use this and target his land like that just so preventing them from actually using any more cards at their disposal mm -hmm. making it a harder job for them to actually do anything What Crosswoods is also known for is many send creatures to the hand, such as that. It can also be used as a defensive if we are trying to destroy one of their creatures, they could repulse or disperse it, putting it, making our cards useless. He's using Myers Tall, trying to hope. He's going to go for maybe... The one death card that gives us two life for every card that gets sent to the graveyard. However, he might even actually go for Remnant's Blast. If I could just, you know. Nope, he actually went for that one card. Alright. Damn. Why would you do that? Why? Why would you do that? Like, I mean, you tapped it, making that card useless since you're already going to destroy it. Why did you use Stabbing Pain? Whatever. Um, we can actually get an Intimidate. And what Intimidate does is... Any creature that has Intimidate can only be blocked by creatures with the same mana color. So, since this is an Intimidate green, nobody has green besides me. So, therefore, it is indestructible unless it is destroyed. It does not have Hexproof, so it is also vulnerable to most spells, such as that one. he actually backtracked it and used time warp wow now hmm. 
Hmm. That's very disturbing. Three turns for a 1-1 one, one counter, whatever. How does this one have intermediate? Hold on. Yeah, that confuses me. How oh, does this card have intermediate? Oh, other green creatures you can draw have intermediate. That makes it even more useful. However, this creature is also a black mana cost. So therefore, Obedient Dead can't block the 2-2. I cannot use it. But, Gravitational Pull just switch everything around. And he's gonna do one damage to it. destroy every single creature I got except this one no actually it'll destroy that one as well there is nothing that I could do that could potentially remove gravitational pull murder my one card I bet you he's ready to put a murder on it Okay, that method that I just did, what that did was he put that in the battlefield, which would make it have his thing, like his effect, but by me destroying it, it would just render its effect useless, but Crosswind Boy over here just used Repulse on it, making my thing useless as hell. Well... Damn, we still have to fucking use it. That was bullshit. That was straight bullshit. Alright, whatever. What I would do with that card is 
go into the enemy's graveyard and grab or is it no no I guess he didn't have it in a graveyard but what I would do is grab that and make a copy of hissing devil or Singed Mind or Singed Mind Ogre. Oh. We have been intimated. I cannot be blocked by any of their creatures. Oh, wait, never mind. It is a black creature, so therefore, yeah, never mind. Forget it. Making it more and more powerful each time. I like it. But eventually he's gonna have to pull out a murder and he's, yep, I knew it. Destroy every freaking creature that you do not control. What I would do is use that go into my graveyard and pick up that one card ultra zombie use reanimate for it now what i would also want yeah i would most definitely want you to go into my graveyard and get vulture zombie what the hell are you doing why the fuck would you do that I mean, yeah, like, that's a good trick, but we don't have exactly have the luxury of spell cards to actually feed off of it. Yeah, we don't. We better get mad lucky in order to make this card work really good. Okay, for those of you who are watching my video and don't know what I just did, what I did is I used a card called Rancor. What that does, it gives a 2-2 counter effect and has Trample. What Trample does is, even though a creature blocks the creature that has Trample, if it's not powerful enough to kill the creature or block its fucking, fucking shit. Oh my god, of course. Well, yeah, if a creature is not powerful enough to actually kill or block off the damage that it would do, then it would just run straight through the resistance. Like, it's a 2-2, two -two, it's a 1-1. One -one. It'll block one damage, but one of them will still go, go straight to the life. Now, if it's a 2-2 if it's a two -two and it's a 5-5, five -five, trample 2-2, two -two, it's not going to work because 5-5 five -five just blocks everything, life, everything. So uh, yeah. That's how trample works. This creature is horrendous though. God damn, I have to sacrifice that many target permanents, which also is mana. So therefore we have to we have to not block it. Like we don't even we have to let it attack. Yeah. 
that is such an annoying card. Fucking disperse and fucking mana leak. Whatever. Do not block it. Whatever you do, do not block it. So, this is where dumb people are met. You have to press Y. If you look in the corners, they don't have cards in their hands. So therefore, they cannot strategize. With anything. Which is a complete waste of fucking time. I don't know if the effect actually works if he uses Terminate on that card. But we're about to find out. And I... Okay, I guess not. Well, yeah, I guess Terminate is not exactly a source, but that could have been devastating to my mana. I love my mana. I don't want it to go. I fucking hate it when people target my mana. It's a very, it's a very, it's like, it's like saying fuck you. It's like, it's like, you know what it's like? Like, getting your mana destroyed is like making a birthday cake for your son. And you know it's not the freaking... It's like a carrot cake and he doesn't like carrot cake. And he just... On his birthday, everybody's watching, taking pictures and shit. And he's like, Mom, I don't like that cake. It's carrot cake. It's a big fuck you. It's a big... Like, it's, it's, it's a fucking middle finger right in your goddamn face. Don't fucking like it whatsoever. Ooh, nice. Hey, thank you, bro. Yeah, buddy, you're in trouble now. Guess what? Since that person has three or more creatures, I get to put creatures such as this one and this one. Bam. Forty-five, forty-seven. Holy shit, right? Well, guess what? I'm the big target right now, so they are most definitely gonna use something that will destroy these two creatures. more fucking life bruh more power to me now if only I could you know get my rancor and put it on my own target yep I knew it there goes one Yes, please, please destroy the two two. Please destroy the two two. Please destroy the two two. Oh, he wants me to pull back. I see. All right. Um, 
Yeah, um... What the fuck do you want me to do then? Jesus Christ. What? Do you want me to attack? I'm not gonna attack with everything, you idiot. <laughs> I, I don't want to finish it just yet, to be honest, but... Damn it, fine. Actually, he's pretty fucking dumb because we only have, yeah. Yeah, how did you like that? Seriously, you fucking tard. I told you. Oh no. If he gets a fuck, if he has, no, no he doesn't. Alright, just check his cards. Yeah, I no. I was gonna fucking shit. Alright, anyways. Oh, they rage quit. Well, that's a win by rage quit. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, if you want more magic videos, go ahead and give a like. And I'll put some more. Also, I'm going to do some more Destiny later on. I couldn't do more Destiny because I've been so busy with my family. But I will surely do more Destiny gameplay. Uh, I am also thinking about doing a series of Minecraft on Xbox One with some friends. So, should be fun, maybe. But, I don't know. Yeah, uh, yeah, it should be fun. So a lot to look forward to, but yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and good afternoon, everybody. I'll see you next time.